Welcome to Principles of Transfusion. In this video, we discuss packed red blood cell transfusion. We have the following take-home points. One packed red blood cell unit increases hematocrit by 3% and hemoglobin by 1 gram per deciliter. For most patients without acute coronary syndrome or bleeding, the transfusion threshold is less than 7 grams per deciliter. Packed red blood cell modifications include leuco reduction, irradiation, and washing. Most red blood cells collected in the United States are obtained from healthy volunteer donors. Whole blood is collected and fractionated into one or more components, including red blood cells, platelets, and plasma. Red blood cells are stored in anticoagulated plasma at a hematocrit of 55 to 65 percent. Each unit contains about 250 to 300 milliliters and is stored at 4 degrees C for up to 42 days. For matched ABO and RH compatible recipients, a single unit of packed red blood cells increases hematocrit by 3% and hemoglobin by 1 gram per deciliter. For most patients, a restrictive strategy is recommended to transfuse for a hemoglobin less than 7 grams per deciliter. A higher transfusion threshold is indicated for patients with acute coronary syndrome acute stroke, acute symptomatic anemia, or acute blood loss. In case of an emergency where the recipient's blood type is not available, give O negative blood. Special packed red blood cell modifications include leuco reduction, irradiation, and washing. Leuco reduction achieves removal of white blood cells by filtration to achieve residual leukocyte counts below 5 times 10 to the 6 per unit. Leukocyte reduction decreases the incidence of febrile non-hemolytic transfusion reactions, decreases CMV trans transmission, decreases HLA aluminization, and decreases platelet transfusion refractoriness. Radiation inactivates lymphocytes and thereby prevents transfusion-associated graft-versus-host disease. Irradiated blood is indicated for intrauterine or neonatal transfusion, congenital immunodeficiency states, in patients with hematologic malignancies, and in those undergoing stem cell transplant. Another modification is washing. Red cells are washed in saline to remove residual plasma. Washing is indicated for patients who experience severe or recurrent allergic reactions with transfusion, in IgA deficient patients, and for intrauterine transfusions. In summary, one packed red blood cell unit increases hematocrit by 3% and hemoglobin by 1 gram per deciliter. For most patients, the transfusion threshold is less than 7 grams per deciliter. Packed red blood cell modifications include leuco reduction, irradiation, and washing. This ends our video on principles of transfusion packed red blood cell transfusion.